welcome back guys to this week's plan with me. Last week's spread is blank as I was away camping but I'm filming a rewind spread for that later this week. The kit I'm using is from an Etsy shop called Planable Designs and it's called the Planner Girl Kit but as always I will leave the link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. This kit is really pretty and I love all of the bright colours and the cute deco, especially all of the little donuts that are included. I'm also grabbing these but first coffee stickers from Paper Chic Plans which is also on Etsy. So this week in my planner the pink actually matches the kit which never usually happens so I'm not going to use the washi along the top, I'm just going to use it along the bottom. Normally I cut my washi in half with my paper trimmer but I forgot to bring it out with me so I'm just going to put it on and then take my page off and trim it with my scissors. So now that all the washi is done, we can go in day by day as usual. So for Monday, I started with a green to do header and then chose two pieces of washi with a page flag to mark that I wanted to upload this plan with me. All of the washi in this kit is patterned washi. There isn't any plain washi, so I'm just using patterns throughout. I also wanted to use something from the deco sheet as there's a lot of deco that comes with this sheet so I wanted to put something on this plan with me and in the end I went with a paper clip on top of the page flag. Next I used a half box to remind myself that I have got a food shop delivery and as we've been away all last week and we have no food in the house, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of excited. I also took a donut deco sticker and popped it at the top just to bring some pink into this part of the spread. Then I just moved on to my today header and then I popped down a heart checklist. Then I just wrote down things that I wanted to do. I can't even tell you how much laundry I have after our camping trip but I will speak more about our trip in my rewind spread and that way I'm not kind of repeating myself and boring you guys. I then took a green home little thing and just popped down my full box too. For the little things sticker I just marked down that we are going to be having a home day on Monday and then I just grabbed a piece of washi and put it down onto my full box. And then here I was just looking for an icon or a piece of deco to use as we were going to be doing lots of art and craft on Monday, mainly Pokemon as my boys are obsessed, but there was a glue stick on the deco sheet which was perfect. So I just marked down that we were doing Pokemon DIYs and then put the glue stick right at the bottom. Tuesday I started with a pink today header and I wanted to try and film my rewind spread in the morning. So I took the planning time sticker and placed it at the top and then I also put a page flag underneath on its side and just wrote down film plan with me. Tuesday is another home day so I marked this with another house little thing and we are all still pretty worn out from camping plus it's a six week summer holiday so I do like to try and scatter days out so that way we can do things all through the holiday. I put down this full box that is filled with glue, scissors, tape and coffee which I kind of like and then I put down a to do header with an ombre checklist. I then finished it off with a half box at the bottom. So I had some things to get done throughout the day and we're also going to be making lots of slime. So I've been busy trying to find slime recipes on Pinterest. So if you have any good slime recipes, then definitely let me know in the comments. On Wednesday, I am alternating the headers. So I used a green to-do header and a pink ombre checklist. I then took the page out of my planner so I could write without the coil being in my way, which is something that I always do, but I never remember to do it until I go to write. So I'm just flipping this out and then I can write down the things that I wanted to get done. I've sorted out loads of bits to give to charity, so I needed to drop them off, which I should have done before our camping trip, but I never actually got around to it.
Then I used a half box underneath just to mark down that I had an optician's appointment. And then I used the glasses from the deco sheet, which was pretty perfect. So I just popped that underneath my optician's appointment. Next I used a Little Things header and cut a heart checklist down to three hearts. Which was just a few things that I needed to do while I was already out in town. Next I put down an important header and I also took a donut from the deco sheet to remind myself that I wanted to pick up some cakes. But then as I was going to put my full box down I realised that I didn't have quite enough room so I just took the donut and the important header back up and then sat my full box down over my writing. And then it felt really cramped close up to the heart checklist so I just moved it down a little bit but before I put it down I went back with a header because I realised that wasn't going to look right at all. So I just moved it down with a little header and then on top of my full box I used one of the round page flags which I never normally use, I keep trying to use them, I'm not a big fan of them I don't think, I prefer the more square ones. But I just took this one to mark down that I was going to be visiting my sister and her children and pick up cakes on the way. Then I popped this back into my planner and then moved on to Thursday. So for Thursday I started with a pink today header and then I used a half box underneath. I wanted to mark down that it was my cousin's birthday so I just wrote down Jules birthday. To mark her birthday I pulled out my birthday poppets which will be in my Etsy shop when it opens. I used the poppet holding the little pink present to match this week's spread. Using a pink house I marked down that we were going to be having a day out. I'm not sure where we're going but I'm going out with my sister and her children and with my mum and dad so I will fill it in when I know whereabouts we're going to go. I then took two pieces of washi and stuck a bag little thing which I think is a money bag but it kind of looks like a big bag of clothes so I used it to mark down that I've got lots of clothes to give to charity. And the charity was going to be collecting all of the clothes on this day. Then I forgot that I didn't put my header in so I just picked it up and moved it down so I could fit my to-do header. I also needed to mark down and remind myself that it was my bin collection as well on this day so I just used a heart little thing and just wrote down bin collection. Actually I wrote down bins out same thing. I then took an ombre checklist and then I chose a film thing as a header and this is just so me and the kids could choose some films that we wanted to see this holiday whether it's in the cinema or at home. So we will fill this out throughout the week. For Friday I used a green to-do header and I also put down a book first coffee sticker which is from Paper Sheet Plans on Etsy. Then I just used two pieces of washi behind my half box and a suitcase icon to mark down that I had to get my daughter packed for her camping slumber party. To cover the black line I just used the next part of the patterned washi just so I could cover it up without putting anything too close to my half box. I was trying to match up the pattern and it took me a while to realise that when you peel the washies off there's a really thin strip left behind from where the cutters cut it out so you can't perfectly match them so I got it as close as I could. Next I grabbed my sad poppets which is quite funny because I'm using it to mark down that I had to drop my daughter off and although I know she's going to be absolutely fine but I'll still be a little bit sad as it's not like a house sleepover it's sleeping over in a tent with her friends. So I thought using one of my sad poppets would be quite funny. So underneath I just put my full box and then at the bottom I used a half box to mark down that we were going to be having a takeaway and a bit of a game night just as a treat for the boys as Ellie's not going to be here. And I just used the night game night sticker that came with the kit. I've also used some poppets for the takeaway sheet. I am going to do a full review and show you all of the poppets and all of the stickers that will be available when I open my shop but I just used the pizza poppet for our takeaway. For the weekend, I just used two headers to carry on the same from the week, so it just alternates and matches. And then I used the leftover washi from the bottom as a background for the weekend banner, because I hate throwing away anything that I'm not using, so I do try to use 
bits that I have cut off if I can in my spread. My head got in the way there, sorry. Also, I realised as I was going to put the weekend banner down that it wasn't quite thick enough, so I went back and just double layered it. I did overlap it a little bit, but mostly it's just underneath. On the Saturday I used a green ombre checklist and it's my daughter's birthday coming up so I need to start making party plans and ideas and then underneath I put a large piece of deco which is a bowl holding some tape and blue I think it is. I then took a green page flag to mark what time I needed to pick my daughter up and also I used the car icon on top. Underneath I put a Little Things header with the Build You sticker that came with this kit. And then I also got two TV shows on and I also used a Little Things another bag icon. And this was just to mark down my TV shows and also that I had to do a food shop. So my two TV shows are Team Mum and Scandal. I also used another poppet from the takeaway sheet which says Hangry, which is always me when I'm food shopping. For Sunday I started with a film slate icon and I wrote down film plan with me, this is for next week, and then I covered the black line with some washi. I then realised that this kit actually comes with a planning sticker, so um, although I'd already written it anyway, I just thought I would use the sticker as well. Then I just put in my today header and a heart checklist which I trimmed down just to fit above that black line. And then before putting down my full box, I just peeled up the edges of my checklist just so it would fit without chopping the end off. And then to finish, right at the bottom, I've also got a TV programme on on Sunday, which is Game of Thrones. I'm so happy that the next season has started. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I would definitely suggest watching it. And then moving on to the sidebar, my camera cut out but I didn't realise but all you missed me do is put down a little bit more of the leftover washi as a background behind my full box. Underneath I put a meals header as I wanted to keep a list of my meals this week and then I also put in my next week header and another ombre checklist. I kept it the same as above just to put in a little bit more green and that bright pink on this side of the spread. For some reason when it gets to the sidebar I always struggle to get my stickers straight. I'm not sure if it's because I'm used to having the lines either side that perfectly are the width, but I just always struggle and my sidebar always seems a little bit on the crooked side. To fill in the gap underneath all I did was take some of the washi that was left and just fill up that gap. Once I'd filled in my sidebar, this is how the spread is looking and all I had left to do was just to place the deco stickers around. It was all so cute that I couldn't leave it out, so I placed some at the top with the dates and some at the bottom with the bottom washi. I did place a few bits within the spread wherever I could fit it. Here's all the stickers that I've got left from this week's spread and I'm thinking about doing a spread using leftover stickers really soon so if you are interested in seeing that make sure you subscribe to my channel. Here's a close up of the spread this week and if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all next week. Bye!